Hey guys, it's Heba and I'm here to talk to you guys about my new approach with food. I am going to be attempting to do the keto diet. Now some of you guys might know what that is and other people might be scratching their heads wondering what so. So don't worry, I'm going to explain everything to you. I've actually done this diet before. I did it several years ago when I lost six stones in six months. On that note, it's important for me to make a disclaimer. I am not a nutritionist. I am not a dietitian. I am a nobody just trying out diets and different ways of approaching food. I wouldn't recommend this for anyone who's got medical conditions and I wouldn't recommend it for anyone at all. I'm just simply sharing my own personal journey, what I've done previously and what I'm about to do. A keto diet is when you're having a very low carb diet with no sugar. Now, the way it works is that your body is used to glucose, i.e. sugar, to use for its day-to-day -day energy. So when you're running around doing your bits, it's using up the glucose. And then you have the fat, which is a reserve tank. I think that's the technical way of using it, but again, I'm no scientist. But basically what will happen is the sugar runs low because you're no longer consuming any sugar. And then your mind goes, wait, I need another source of energy. So it starts burning stored fat. Now, once you go into ketosis, i.e. it triggers that point, your body is now constantly burning fat day in, day out, overnight. So therefore, you start losing weight and sometimes at a faster rate. Other people, including athletes, tend to use the keto diet to help improve their energy and they'll have foods that they eat every single day and they know different types of recipes to ensure that they can have their meals throughout the day while maintaining the energy and actually performing better than usual. Basically anything that's green, i.e. vegetables, and then stuff that's fatty, so fatty meats, stuff like mayonnaise, stuff like cheeses. It's similar to the Atkins diet, but not quite. A handful of fruits, because you can't have too much sugar, so a handful of berries, a few blackberries, a few blueberries at best. Hella water, plenty of water, water, loads of water, and some more water. Although, please do not drink too much. Actually, furthermore, don't drink anything that I'm telling you because I'd rather you just watch me and laugh at my pain, just so we can laugh together at my struggle. But also, as well as water, you can drink green teas, different herbal teas, not too much caffeine, but you can get away with a coffee and some milk. That literally depends on who you are because every single human being is shaped differently, body functions differently. But what I have found based on my last experience is that the bigger you are, the faster you lose weight. I don't know the science behind it, but I do know when I did it with someone else who was smaller than me, they were struggling to shift the weight. That being said, when I lost an X amount of weight, it became very harder to reach my final target because maybe I hit a brick wall. I have no idea what it is, but I do find generally whether you're dieting, whether you're exercising, there comes a point where the weight is very much harder to shift. So you should anticipate that. First time I did the diet, I lost probably just under a stone in a week. Now, don't get excited, don't be like, what? Bear in mind, probably half of that was just water weight. When you're eating the wrong foods or you're not really paying attention to what you eat, you tend to retain a lot of water, especially if you're not consuming enough water. And as of late, I've not been consuming much water. So I know for a fact when I start this, I'm probably going to lose quite a lot of water weight. So whilst it's not a true reflection of body fat, it's still something to motivate you when you see your scales go down. But like I mentioned before, I'd lost six stones in six months, but some people have lost less and people who are bigger than me lost more. So I think it's just literally something to do with the ratio of your fat, I don't know, but you do lose weight. It is if you understand the science behind it. A lot of people, like I said, including athletes, do a keto diet in order to shred off weight, um, in order to help their performance, in order to help their concentration. But you really need to understand that you need to research a lot about it to understand what nutrition you need to top up as supplements when you are now cutting out all this sugar and all these carbs that also are there to benefit you. If you're gonna do it with just simply shake diets and you're trying to do like a quick diet, then you have to also understand your lifestyle has to change as well. 
if you're after just a quick fix and hope that you're going to lose all your weight and then you're going to go back to eating normally then i can guarantee you will gain all your weight back once you finish your diet you should already have mentally wired yourself to eat better and want to look better and feel better for yourself go to ketosis within three days roughly three four days and that's when basically you run low on sugar and there's a, there's a switch in your brain going let's start now burning the fat in our body in order to use energy once that happens you'll start seeing a change in your scales from day four five six seven onwards and that's a sign to let you know that there is some change happening but again every single person varies another sign that you're going into ketosis is that you have flu-like symptoms now minus the sneezing and the coughing because you know it's corona season and we don't want to scare anyone but basically you're just always tired the level of fatigue increases your body feels drained a bit sore at times and also you have headaches now this does go after a week roughly give or take but it's just basically your body adjusting to this new change and it's freaking out so day one to three, your body's going, where's the carbs? Where's the carbs? Feed me carbs. And then by four, five onwards, it starts settling, appetite changes, um, and you're just used to this. Similar to anything else that we've adapted to over time, this is something also where you can adapt to and your body can adjust perfectly fine. Another symptom, which is very unfortunate, is bad breath. What that means is that you're going through ketosis when you can taste like a weird taste in your throat, Sadly, people can smell it too. So be mindful. I used to walk around like this um, in fear that I am breathalyzing someone with my dusty breath, but effectively, it just lets you know that you are in ketosis. So yeah, brush your teeth, mouthwash, don't swallow it. That's, that's probably my advice. But with all these symptoms listed, not everyone has to experience all of them, maybe some of them, maybe none of them, but those are the ones to look out for. Uh, <laughs> you literally cannot chew because it takes three days for your body to register what's going on that if you decide to have a cheat day what that means is your brain now thinks it's getting more sugar more carbs and it starts shutting down that side and moving back to sugar and therefore in order to start again you've got to wait again three more days roughly and it's just long I personally feel like if you want to take this seriously, if you don't want to cheat, you want to see the results and you also want to better your lifestyle and your diet, then this is something to take seriously. Obviously make sure you enjoy it too, look up recipes, find different things that work for you. Aside from the obvious, which is you lose loads of weight, also helps with concentration, it makes you more alert, um, it gives you more energy, but you wouldn't think that at first because you are literally the polar opposite for the first week to 10 days you're just like i can't do this i'm just yawning all the time i'm tired i'm slurring my words but i promise you it does get better as this is a low sugar low carb and low calorie diet i don't recommend anyone who is already not exercising to then suddenly take it up to try and speed up don't do it it will actually make things worse for you because your body can't handle it and you're probably likely to make yourself iller. So if you don't work out already, then please don't start working out. If you already work out, be mindful. Make sure you're taking all the right supplements to ensure that your energy is up and that you are able to do it without hurting yourself inside and outside. I personally have chosen to do it because I previously have done it and I know that it works it's worked for me before but what I'm going to be doing differently is I'm going to be taking only two to three meal packs rather than the four and I'm going to be also introducing a healthy meal and the reason why I'm going to do that is because I actually want to change the way I eat and I want to be able to adapt and be more disciplined but I know I can't just automatically just bring in all these new foods and simply be disciplined because I know for a fact even the healthiest food I will make unhealthy probably the amount I consume or what I put on it so it's probably best for me to pace myself with shakes and the actual meal and eventually the shakes will fall off and I'll introduce more meals and hopefully it becomes part of my lifestyle. I'll learn more and more and more about ketos and I'll be able to buy more and more ingredients that helps adapt in my home. I also want to do it because I want to see if it helps with my performance at the gym. Now, now that the gyms are opening soon, I want to be able to see whether it helps me shred my weight off more, whether it helps me convert to muscle more. I just want to see whether it helps me focus even more.
Now, it's important for me to state, I'm not trying to encourage anyone to do this. I'm simply sharing my own personal experience with you to let you know what I'm about to do and also to put pressure on myself because now you guys know what I'm gonna do. It's all eyes on me to fulfill that and to see it through. It's 2020 and I think every one of us at some point have tried millions of diets and whether they failed or quick fixes or succeeded or helped adapt in their life, this is simply all I'm doing and I'm just sharing it with you. You're welcome to ask me any questions in regards to the diet. I know quite a bit. I've been researching so much as of recent because I didn't want to just go in with just meal packs and just following a pamphlet. I wanted to know more in regards to long-term sustainability. But what I'll be doing, I'll be sharing my journey along the way with a weekly video diary. Effectively, I'll probably be just hangry all the time um, and probably <laughs> just see someone who's complaining and moaning, but also hopefully happy that the weight is being shredded. Thank you very much for watching this video and thank you in advance for following my journey and let's see where this diet takes me.